Hiya, so this is the second lesson for binomial. I hope this one feels a little bit better. The first one didn't really feel very good when I was doing it. It just didn't feel quite right. Now then, your issue is here that you need a 1. So you can't have an A here. It needs to be a 1. I don't think there's a page in there that explains how to do it. What I need to do is take out the A as a factor. So it needs to come out with the power. So you can see it as, if I do it as a bracket within a bracket, So taking it out as a factor. Now what happens is people take the A out, but they forget to divide the BX bit, or they forget to put the power on the A as well. So you've got to make sure you do that full combination of it. So I've got a question which is A minus X to the power of third. So I take out the number, and I make sure that I divide through both bits of it. There. Now, 8 to the third is 2, so that's not too bad. So, what I'll do is I'll do this expansion and then I'll multiply it back through. So, my 1 minus x over 8 to the third will be. Now, if say you're going up to the x cubed term, I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. I'd only go to the x squared term. Um, no, do you know what? I'll stick with the x cubed term. So it's going to be 1 plus n x plus n, uh, n minus 1, so be really careful on that one, uh, x squared over 2 plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 times 2. So 1 minus x over 8 cubed, so I've got 1, I've got minus oof, x over 24. I'm going to cheat and choose the calculator, uh, use a completed pattern. So I've got an x squared over 576, oops, and I've got an x cubed. Or oh, five x cubed, so five x cubed over four one four one seven. So now that bit's going to go back in. So this is just working out a little bit. So eight minus x to the third. We've said it's eight to the third, which is two, multiplied by this bit. It's, oh, you can also you know the fractions. You can write them as a fraction at the front if you want. So you'll see it written like that. Quite a lot. So just so you're happy, that's a 7 by the way. Well, so it gives me a final answer. Of 2 minus 1 over 12 x minus 1 over what's that? 25280. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you want to, right. X squared minus five over. What's that going to be? Two oh seven point six. That's good. Yeah, and that's the expansion. In terms of what it's valid for, it needs to be a one. So I need to look at that for the valid for it. Valid. Oops. The modulus of the minus x over 8 is less than 1. The minus makes no difference on the modulus. It's fine. So we're just going to move the x up and say it's valid for plus, between plus or minus 8, which is massive. And you think you're going to use an x value which is like 0 0.1 and 0 0.01. You certainly don't want to be using 8. Although, in theory, this works fine for it, but you fiddle with the expansions to make sure you can use small numbers. You wouldn't have any other like that on an expansion.
<sighs> so one for you to have a go at. So hopefully you can follow it through and get the same. That idea that you take out the four, it goes at the front. Now this, if you look at this one, we've kind of done it all in one go, but this I would do separately. I do this bit separately. And that's your one plus. So four, so that one. Mm -hmm. wow. It's exactly the same, it's just practicing binomial, but you've got to take the number out first, and people really slip up on that. Okay, for that one, oh no, there's another example, but so I'll stop with it there, and we'll do 